Solidy Krub, Keshi heads! Have you been longing for the day that someone would bring along some brand new Takeshi's castle and deliver it right to your TV slash computer slash tablet slash phone? Well, long no longer. I've got just what you want right here, right now. Oh yes, Takeshi's castle is risen again, this time in Thailand. And today we're bringing you some of the best bits from the first bunch of awesomely Effleton episodes. So coming up, we're biting the bun in the slippery wall. There's a tug of war in the honeycomb maze. And there's a final fall in Mushroom Trip. It's the gift that keeps on giving, just this time in different wrapping. It is Takeshi's Castle, Thailand, the best of. He's got the uniform, he's got the looks, he's got the charm. He hasn't got a stick, but he does have a bloody big sword. This is General Shaprit. He's brought together this band of brave battlers with the aim of storming Takeshi's castle and freeing the love of his life. The beautiful Princess Wu Sen, who has been kidnapped and imprisoned by the evil Shogun Takeshi and his sadistic sidekicks, Kom and Bon. Shaprit is assisted on this mission by half man, half afro, Lieutenant Plakung and half-friend, half-foe, Fern the Useless Ninja. Other than that, it's the same show as ever. So what are we waiting for? Let's get straight into some of the best bits. First up, it's the best of the slippery wall. Release the hounds! I was only joking. Slippery Wall is such a straightforward game in theory. You just have to make your way over the wall and slide on the backside. And then you remember that this is a very slippery wall. Oh dear, that's a bit too intimate for television. At least pre-watershed. Some of these contestants are finding it a little more difficult to make it over than others. But already you see the first batch of contestants making their way over the wall. Oh dear, you don't want to take out your partner. And I gotta say, this slippery wall is much more difficult when you're being hosed down. The full time. They're trying their best to get over the wall as a team. And this is of course a game where you definitely don't want to bring your Sunday best clothing because you will end up a mess. Let's see what this young lady's got. Oh, what a landing! Uh-oh. Okay, okay, there's no crying in Slippery Wall. We've got to make it down sometime. Let's see what this young lady's got. And we've got a half moon over Takeshi's castle today. Well, you're stuck at the top of the wall, hun. You've got to slide down sometime. Face your fears. More contestants make their way over. And if this stout young woman makes it over, then I guarantee you that her pants will not follow. Is she going to finally make her way down? She does! And that will about wrap things up. The Slippery Wall Challenge is over. And for the ridiculous replay, it's this speedy senorita. Finding out that going down wasn't quite as much fun as she'd been promised. But that didn't leave skid marks, and I know something it will. Coming face to face with the demon duo oh. in the honeycomb maze. Yeah. Right now, there are many ways to make it from one end of the maze to the finish. And this young man is taking a very stealthy approach. Very solid snake like. Oh, and he's confronted the first of the guards. That should pick up the pace for him a bit. Oh, he's she's surely cornered. Surely he won't make his way out. Oh, great moves to get out of that spot. And he's almost made it through. Just gotta make it past the last door. You opened the wrong door, son. Oh, and he's got himself cornered by our psycho guards. 
You won't be able to beg your way out of this one. There will be no prayers. Just a quick trip into the lake. Holding on won't do you much good either. Oh dear. Now this long lady. This young lady is rushing right into the challenge. Trying to make a quick dash to the end. I think Pierce Street's been cornered! Oh no, what a shame! And I hate to imagine what these guards are going to do with her now that they've got her all tied up. Yeah. A fist pump for the crowd, and this young man takes his turn at the maze. Oh, and he's off for a sprint. He's just gotta be careful not to open the wrong door. Not even a last gasp effort to hold on could do him any good. Um, Alright. And this gentleman is busting some moves. He is confident. And I'm sure that mustache adds about 50% more confidence. He makes his way sneakily past the first guard. And now he starts to make a run for it. This could be good. He's got daylight. And he's gonna make it through to the next round. What a run. Celebrating for the crowd as he should. What are we gonna see here? Oh. <laughs> oh, you're choking. Well, don't lose your balance, lad. Surely this isn't allowed. But it's working. It's working! The guards do not know where he is! He jumps and he sticks the landing! It was one of the most incredible things I have ever seen on Takeshi's castle. Surely we've seen it all, right? <laughs> Apparently not! It's for a map, surely that is not a map. Surely. That's the one thing to have the map right in front of you. It's another thing to complete the task altogether. Well, there you go, sunshine. The guards are after you. You've got the directions. Oh, and he's picked the wrong door. Here he is again for the ridiculous replay. Why has no one ever thought of bringing directions before? Apart from it being cheating. And the little fact that it overlooks the presence of two scary psychos chasing it down and not giving you the chance to read your plan. Yeah, that could be why no one has ever thought of bringing directions before. And Mushroom Trip is up next. Oh dear! <laughs> We've got a big spill! And we haven't even met our first contestant take a run. But he seems ready for redemption. He's ready to go all the way to the finish. <laughs> oh, not. <laughs> he didn't even make it two meters past the safety net. Mushroom trip again. We're going to hold on to the mushroom and land on the platform without spilling into the lake. That's a good run here. He sticks the landing. Or does he? No. <laughs> He's in the lake! What a disappointment for this young man! General Shakra couldn't believe it. This is a good run. He's just got a couple more rotations. The dismount! <laughs> I think that one got a 2 out of 10 from the Russian judges. This young lady. Having a bit, <laughs> having more than a little bit of trouble <laughs> mounting herself onto the mushroom. The problem is she's so small that she can't wrap her legs around the stalk. If she's going to ask General Shakrat for some help, maybe a bit of a push start would be needed. Maybe she should have used the push start. Oh, you can't fault her for trying. A good effort. Now this young man, this man is confident. He's making some last minute adjustments before he goes out on his run. Oh, and this is good. This is really good. Now he's just got to make a perfect landing. And he 
really does switch style to boot. The crowd is pumped and so is that contestant behind him. Give it all the time he needs to get a good grip. Be sure not to slide off the bottom. He's got to make a perfect landing. Lad, you've overshot your mark. Oh, and right on the less comfortable beach. We're going to check him out again for the ridiculous replay. It's always difficult to come down from a mushroom trip, so I'm told. And this guy certainly proved that point. <laughs> what a fool. Coming up in part two, we're getting taken from behind in avalanche. Planting potatoes in sumo rings and getting spears to the ears in bridge ball. As Shakrat says, it's like playing violin for a buffalo. Here we go again, it's part two when the Citrine guards are psyched. Or psychotic, not sure which. Anyway, Simran told us that a favorite game is Avalanche, so these clips are especially for you. You've got to make very smart use of these safety slits. Knowing that the guards will do their best to put you out. Oh! <laughs> You've also got to make sure you don't underestimate how much these small boulders can hurt. Oh dear! I hope this contestant finds a much more graceful ending to his run than the way he started it. Tries to make his way into the safety slit. Good dodge. Oh, he's taking a bit of a stumble. Trying to fight to stay his way in. Oh, and he gets shoulder checked. And he's gonna get run down. Oh, what a shame. He was so close as well. He casually makes his way into the first safety slot. Doing a good job of dodging these boulders so far. He just does not want to get out of the safety slit. He's intent to stay there for as long as possible. Or until the guards pull him out by force. And we have stopped the action because this contestant just doesn't want to get out. He sees the giant boulder. He knows what's coming. And now he's running the wrong way. He's going the wrong way down. What's a disappointment. Goodness. Making her way up. Oh, and she gets hosed right in the face. Didn't seem to affect her too much. She's got a good run going. Gotta be careful here. Oh! What a jarring hit. What a huge hit. And not even the guards can withstand this avalanche. Alright, now this young lad, he's making his way up. Very quick. Using the safety slits to his advantage. It's gonna be hard to push out. Dodges the last boulder, he may have it here. And he gets through! He's on to the next round and he celebrates in style. The guards are bitterly upset with himself. But we've got to have another look at this for the ridiculous replay. And why she thought it was a good idea to walk right in front of that boulder, I don't know. Maybe she has rocks for brains? Well, if she didn't before, she certainly does now. But let's keep rolling right into sumo rings. Our first contestant has to draw one of four swords. He draws the red sword, and that means the daunting task of taking on Giant Jumbo. Okay. But he doesn't seem too phased. This is an incredible size advantage in favor of Giant Jumbo. But this contestant has good technique. Oh, and he shoves down the giant! What an upset! What a victory! 
What a great performance! And on the other end, this giant Jumbo, disgusted with himself. The Green Sword. And that means this contestant has drawn the challenge of Spud. Spud is definitely the toughest potato in all of Sumo. And also the only potato in Sumo. Got a good struggle going on here. Good technique. He's got him up! Oh, and he slams down Spud! And now he's just gonna roll him out of the ring! A bit disrespectful, but a dominant performance! The blue sword. The lovely May is the contestant. Now what May may lack in size, she certainly makes up for in craftiness. Got a good struggle coming on. He's got it picked up. Oh no, but what have you done? You've stepped out of bounds. That's a victory for May because as the replay shows, her feet did not touch the ground. He's did. Like I said, May is one of the craftiest competitors we have at Takeshi's Castle. He can't believe it. This contestant draws the green sword and the challenge of the foreigner. My Chai Panha is not a problem! You know, he says it's not a problem! I don't think any translation was needed for that. Indeed, something does smell about this match. Because the foreigner looks like he's ready to take out this contestant. I've got a good struggle going. The foreigner getting a tongue lashing for the sidelines. But he's got him picked up. And he tosses him right out of the ring. A dominant performance for the foreigner. Disappointment for the contestant. Yeah, you're great. You good job. You... Take this! Take this now! Now! Yeah! Baby! I Come don't on. quite understand what's going on. Yeah! Yeah, I love you! Yes! No! Oh. There's romance and sumo, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Here's what we love for the ridiculous replay. Giant getting a beating. One hell of a shove. One hell of a crack. On the ground. Anyway, Pablo from Madrid told us that his favorite part of Takeshi's castle was Bridge Ball. So hey, we couldn't end this best up without it. The aim of the game is simple. You retrieve a golden ball from General Shakrit. And you have to traverse the bridge without <laughs> getting rocked like that. How is he still on the bridge? It's not going to be easy with all this cannon fire. And you've got to maintain your balance on this rickety bridge. Oh, but he's going to start to make a sprint for it. He may have it here. Oh, but he slips and he loses the golden ball. And you know what that means. He's got to go back and get it. <laughs> he almost slips on his way back. This will not be easy for this young man. But he's going to try it again anyway. This time he just shrugs it right off. Dodging multiple cannon fire. Struggling to maintain his balance, and yet he just barely does, and he's sprinting for it again! And this time he falls into the net and off the bridge! Oh, what a shame. Very carefully stepping out onto the bridge. <laughs> oh, that's... It's not good. That was a worse shot than Torres at the last Chelsea game. He's got it, and he's immediately off the bridge. What a shame. Alright, let's see what this gentleman has in store for us. Easy catch. He's taking a very slow and deliberate pace. 
he just elbows that cannon shot right away from him. He's creating the ball very deliberately. Oh, he's taking a barrage of shots. And Eddie's still taking it on slowly. Oh, now he's just showing off. That's not good. You've still got to make your way across the bridge. And he's taking quite a beating. I don't know if he'll be able to maintain his balance. He's gone very slow. But so far, it's working. Oh! He's over halfway there. He's barely hanging on. Taking so many shots. But he's almost there. And he makes it through. What a performance. But there could only be one candidate for the ridiculous replay. And it is him. I tell you, there's nothing more satisfying than seeing a cocky contestant getting a cannonball to the face. Actually, there is. Seeing it again and again and again. I love it. And speaking of seeing things again, it's time now for the Furious Flashback. Roll it! Well, we've reached the end of this batch of best bits, but don't worry, there are plenty more to come. So until then, lock on, Keshi Heads!